hey everyone welcome to technical voice so in the last video we have seen that how to register our self-hosted machine as a self-hosted agent <clears throat> so in this video we will use uh, this agent machine in our pipeline so let me go to our previous pipeline uh, and let me edit it so this is the same pipeline that uh, we were using to build our project so here uh, you can see that previously we were using the Microsoft ho hosted agent and the image is the Windows latest okay so let me change it to my own machine which is the default one okay so as you can uh, know that uh, you know that our uh, agent is in the default pool so we will use the default pool for this and let me save it and run it if I go to pipelines and click on it you will see that it's showing this pipeline needs permission to access the resource before this run and continue so view and give it the permission okay so after giving the permission let's see the job so it's initializing you can see that this time it's using the VM agent one it's our self hosted machine not the Microsoft hosted machine so currently it's building our application on the machine and you can see it's just completed okay so let me show you one more thing that if you remember then when we are configuring our uh, build server or our agent machine we give the work folder okay so if I go to my virtual machine and go to my work folder this is our work folder you can see that so this is the uh, structure of the Azure pipelines that it used for uh, building our app so if I go to the one folder and to the S folder you can see that this is the exactly same structure of our application okay so exact exactly what if we build and uh, deploy our project on our local machine so this is the same structure okay and uh, this is how the Azure pipeline use the you know uh, the structure of our application to build the project so that's it for this video uh, we have seen that how to uh, create and uh, register the uh, self-hosted agent and how to use various your pipelines thanks bye bye